I'm on a journey to explore Ireland's unique peatlands and why they're under pressure. At the high end of industrial mechanical peat extraction and burning for energy generation is Bordnemona's Eaton Dairy Plant, one of the three in Ireland. Peat burning in power stations like this accounts for more than 20% of our total carbon emissions from electricity generation, but they only supply around 10% of our electricity. Campaigners have been calling for these operations to be shut down for decades. One of the reactions we're getting from people around the country, you know, when we talk to them about this, they're saying that, well, Borden and Mona are allowed to cut turf, so why can't we continue to cut turf? What would you say to that? I think it's a, it's a, it's a very challenging situation. Borden Mona is responsible for less than 7% of the bogs in Ireland, so clearly when you look at the need for us to move forward in, in, in terms of the ecology and the sustainability of the peatlands, it's not just about Borden Mona, it's about the entire, the entire communities of people that are associated with peatlands. Uh, from our perspective, Borden Mona for energy peat has reduced from over 6 million tonnes uh, down to our uh, requirement at the moment over harvesting just over three and a half million uh, tonnes of peat. So we're looking to move down a path to eliminate ourselves from burning peat in power generation by 2030. That's a really strong commitment. And so, by the way, can I interrupt yes. you there? You would have the option to close down the plant or, or mothball it. Have you considered that uh, now, immediately? No, we haven't considered that. Why not? Because we have a commitment to our uh, responsibility to our workforce and our communities and our focus is to transition rather than come to an abrupt stop. Peat burning power stations have been subsidised to the tune of 900 million euro over the last 10 years. Considering what we now know about peatlands and their importance, is this an appropriate use of public money? Well. I think it's very important that we, as an immediate measure, stop subsidising the extraction of peat for energy generation and perhaps even for horticultural extraction as well. You know, that is money that's coming out of our electricity bills. But perhaps we can use that money in better ways to help a transition away from uh, the use of peat for power generation to other activities within the same landscape and within the same communities. Is it time to be stopped cutting turf and burning turf? Uh, yes, is the short answer. There are communities who are very strongly invested and they need to be helped in the transition. And traditionally, um, you, you hear talk of the going out and saving the turf and so on as a strong community building activity, which has diminished over time because it is not the slawing and the people going out in the summertime to save the turf. It is uh, machines doing that work. But I think communities need to re-engage with the bogs and with the landscape in a new way.